Hey, good day, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's snowing here in beautiful New Brunswick. And I just read an article uh, by VE3VN uh, on his Blogspot page. I'll put a link in the pinned comment below. He was talking about digital modes and that digital modes have won the HF spectrum. It was a very interesting article, and I, a lot of it I agree with. Um, I've been a ham for 35 years, and there's no doubt that the ham population uh, is declining. Uh, yes, we're starting to see more and more young uh, folks getting in with thanks to things like POTA and, and other programs like that, but nowhere near close to replacing the amount of hams that are leaving the hobby due to downsizing, due to becoming silent keys. For whatever reason, they're leaving the ham radio hobby. The, uh, you know, the, the popularity of digital FT8, FT4, for all the naysayers out there, you have to admit it, it is a very, very popular mode of operation. And ham radio as we know it today has changed a lot from even when I was first licensed uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s. You know, I remember going to the ham shack in Shiloh and my buddy Mike would arrange a sked with his friend Jack in BC and they would have a QSO for an hour or so on, on 20 meters. I don't hear that happening anymore. Sure, there's a few guys that still get on there and rag chew back and forth, but ham radio today is 5.9 next, 5 nine next and you know nothing wrong with it i'm a contester i'm a dxter and i have no issue with that but that's there's no long-term qsos anymore people are adopting to instant messengers things like facebook messenger have q, q conversations with i do that my ham radio buddies all get on facebook messenger and have a chat with them versus you know versus uh having a qso on the air or whatsapp or any other program like that even as the ham population shrinks we're not seeing young folks getting into the hobby, going and getting towers and yaggies and building elaborate stations. They're building relatively small stations, you know, a transceiver with a wire antenna, and they can operate the digital modes quite easily with that and maybe even make a few SSB CW contacts if they wish. But not they're, they're not putting up big, big towers and big yaggies anymore. Those days are, I think, gone uh, for the new hams anyways. So the rise of the digital popularity is... Is here. I think digital is now, you know, the king of ham radio. Sorry for all you haters of FT8 and detractors. That's just the reality of the world. We're seeing more and more DX stations, more and more DX expeditions using uh, digital modes. They're still doing CW and SSB, but we're seeing more and more digital modes on there. And I use digital to work DX. Uh, as the, uh, the author put in the article, as an insurance contact. If I can't get them on uh, SSB, I'll use digital. I don't do CW yet, but uh, I may be knocking the rust off CW this year just to give me something to do. Not because I expect to make a bunch of contact with it, just to see if I can still do it. But digital is the new king of ham radio. I'm sorry to say that for all you uh, haters out there of digital. That's just the way it is. More and more people are electing to make contacts on digital. Um, and you know, the other thing I noticed too is when I ran my businesses, a lot of young people were afraid to make phone calls. I would say, hey, get on the phone and talk to a client. And they would rather email or text. And they would get very, very nervous having a voice conversation. I think that's the younger population. They don't like to talk to people. So digital is a perfect fit for that. You know, there's lots of reasons. And I'm not, I'm, I love digital. I don't do it all the time. I find it kind of boring after, one, after a while. But I do it. I like digital. I don't have anything wrong with it. I like CW. I like SSB. I like all parts of ham radio. There's, there's parts of ham radio that I haven't in, in, uh, even ventured to explore. But digital, digital in the ham radio sphere is here to say it's growing and growing in popularity all the, all the time. Just look at your waterfall. Look at any waterfall at FT8. Look at the waterfall on a band. You'll see the digital part, 7.074 on, on 40 meters, for example, is crazy busy. The CW portion of the band is quiet. The SSB portion has some people on it, but not a lot. And... Uh, there you go. What do you think? Read the article. I def definitely read the article of IV3 FN, uh, VN. Very, very interesting article to read. I'm Stuart Victor Eckline, Charlie Foxtrot. Let me know your comments below. Let me know what you think. But I think digital's here to stay. Digital's the king of the world now. Even though there's SSB contester, you know, I'm an SSB contester. I think digital is uh, the way of the future. Just wait for digital voice. I'd love to see the day when we get on voice, digital voice on HF. The other thing too I haven't mentioned is the noise factor. When, when there's too much noise on the band, digital works. All right. See you later, guys. I got to get out of here. It's starting to snow. We'll see you guys in the next video.